Happy Monday, guys. Welcome to episode 5 of Parties Unto Glory. Today, I'm gonna be nice and slow for you guys today because I think Mondays are crap. Mondays are horrible. I hate Mondays. If you hate Mondays too, leave a like and subscribe. Ow! I don't know if you heard that, but my elbow just cracked. Anyways, <laughs> so for today, this is just going out the window already. There's no format to this, but today, we are gonna show you some transfers. We have done a lot of transfers, but most importantly, we have sold one very key player, and that key player is Lazar Markovic. And I think, on one hand, we got cheated. We got very, very, very cheated. We sold him for 625k, and he's worth 4.4 million in China. And I'm thinking, hey, okay, fine. Maybe they cheated me, but also, I wanted to get rid of him, because he was in 13k a week. And for this level, and for this, I guess, league, that is stupid money. That is actually stupid money. And as you see, even in China, they're like, man, come on, let's pay you 6k. Also, by the way, I'm sorry if you hear any noises from, like, outside like you know drilling uh, metal clanks and stuff because they are working on making my outside of the house pretty so yeah so that's something we're gonna have to deal with for the next few weeks but a lot of players we won't have to deal with in the next couple of weeks because they're gone so like i said markovic is gone bojan Ostosic, he's old 37 i let him go uh, lutovac said he wants a loan he went to oxair i think that's okay he'll develop if he doesn't we'll sell him later milos jojic a very good player. Now, this guy is a good player. He didn't play much for me, but I sold him to Ruben for 600, 700k, I think. 700. 700. And I think it's a very good deal. He didn't play every game. He didn't play often. Again, another player off the wage. Milkovic went alone. Tezic went alone. Stevanovic, a goalkeeper that was trying to sell from the start of the season. He's gone. Cool. Now, the most interesting parts, everyone's looking forward to this. Who are the new faces? And let's start with, you know, not the biggest face, Todorovic. 17 year old kid my scouts told me he's good i think he's good he's all right you know but especially for 17k like it's just peanuts so he if he turns out to be a very good goalkeeper i am a genius if he doesn't turn out to be a good goalkeeper no one cares i'll probably make money on him so yeah stay tuned for this guy topic now this guy we spent a lot of money for and he's the biggest player we signed i think this season technically because let's go back yeah kind of yes we are because vlad Vlad, that's just gonna be that's gonna be his name now. Vlad was signed for 2.2. This guy was signed for 2.3, and he's perfect for my formation. He's perfect. It's as if we went out looking for this guy. I mean, he's also 20, so it's very perfect. But he'll be perfect as a secundo volante. He can shoot. He can defend. He can pass. He can do everything. He can run. I like that. I very very much like that. And he was one of the reasons that Todic, Jojic left. Todic, lol. I think he's gonna be good. I hope you guys think that as well. And finally. The keen-eyed viewers that you are, most likely, you will think, I cheated. I did not, because he is 22, and 22 is bigger than 21, so that's some math lessons right there. And what has happened is we signed him on the 9th, and he turned 22 on the 28th, so I think that's okay. He's a good player, he's a very good center back already for this level, he has plenty of room to develop. He's a ball player. I think, in my opinion, he's a ball-playing defender. He's got very, very good passing. Maybe he can prove his first touch and technique, but he's already ready. He's already ready. Ugh, horrible words. But yeah, this has been how the squad has changed. Now, let me just show you what happened in the schedules. Oh, God, sorry. I'm. If I sound a bit weird, I just came back from two, uh, two, uh, 12? No, four 12-hour shifts. Yes, four 12-hour shifts in a row. 40 hours in the last four days. Painful. I came back at midnight. I'm still asleep yeah i'm recording this on friday by the way so you can kind of tell <laughs> but yeah but i still hope you're having a nice monday if you're having a nice monday leave a like if you're having a bad monday leave a like and tell me in the comments why you're having a bad monday but most importantly do subscribe to my channel i do full manager stuff and partisan to glory is an amazing save these from my opinion and thank you for those who have been interacting i like that it's fun i like interacting with people now okay so we have Finally, knock on wood, saddled on a tactic. Because as you can see, since the Radnički game, we won against Chukarički. 3-0, a very good result. Hollander, Vlad and Pejic. Very good, very good. Next up, we don't... We skipped through this, it doesn't matter. Milodost, 1-0. Sverazar Markovic scored. And that was an interesting game. We kind of defended very well. We didn't create much and they parked the bus as much as they could. But Markovic scored in the 20th minute. We didn't feel like we needed to risk, and I think they couldn't score. So, perfect. Game against Javor, Vlad with a goal, and Vujovic, Vujicic, Vujicic with a double. Very, very good. 3-0. Finally, some good results. 
1 0 against India, Bibrasnacho with I think it was a free kick, and I hope you can see it on the screen because, okay, fine, you know what? We'll look at it together. Because I sometimes, I don't know if you noticed in the last videos, I did try to overlay it because, but this one I actually do not remember. So let's join me on the adventure and we find out how we scored. And this is the tactic we're going for, by the way. It's, I don't know how to describe it. It looks like, I don't know, wave breaker? Let's call it the wave breaker. Quite defensive, but quite solid at the same time. Please don't break. Don't break. Uh, maybe it wasn't a free kick. Zveljar. What happened here? I honestly don't remember. Oh, no, 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 no free kick. It was just a... Uh, wow, that was interesting. Sorry for that. I hope um, you don't hate me because I promised you beautiful goals and that happened. Okay. Now, against Vojvodnaya, we managed to smash him 4-1. 4-1. Very good. Stevanovic with a goal, Hollander with a double, and Petkovic in the last minutes. Good, 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 good. Now, the Vichne derby. The Vichne derby. We need to get back at them. We want our revenge. We need revenge against these guys. Let's go. Let me show you the team we're going for, and let me show you the guys that are going to be fighting today. So, this is the team we're going for. As you can see, we're back to playing uh, fullbacks. And Eurosvich makes it back. He's actually played a bit well. I think after I told to the press about him, or to you guys basically, that he's crap, he has performed better. And fingers crossed, I think he could be well. He could be well. I, I always say that he could be good. 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 Sorry, English is not my first language. <laughs> Crappy excuse. But anyways, Stojkovic in goal, Eurosovic, Vujicic, Banyak, and Markovic. Markovic is just going to be playing right back. I, I, I don't know. Zdeljar is going to be an anchorman. Topic is going to be our Segundo Volante. This is why we signed him. Bibersnacho, our advanced playmaker, which we will need to find someone to play that role because he's getting old and a bit slow, which will suck. Stevanovic on the wing. Vlad on the wing. Bahabek is going to continue his awesomeness, hopefully. But he has dropped a little bit, which is unfortunate. Now, a player that I want to mention you this time is Vanya Vlachovic because I think he could be a very, very good advanced forward in the future because he's already a good striker. You know, he's got very good physicals. He's tall. So actually, he, scratch that. He will be... Uh, I think I'm training him as a complete forward. I am. He's going to be very good. Ah, I'm so excited. Ooh, I'm excited. If you're excited for him, like, like, leave all the likes. And let's just jump into this episode. Let's just jump into the game. Oh my goodness. I hope it goes better. I really hope it goes better than last time. Let's go! They do have a strong squad, but so do we. I hope, I hope, I hope this will be now. Okay, people are hating that Banyak is starting. Why? I, I think he's amazing. We are underdogs, and I don't like that, but we need, if you have any chances of winning this year, we need to destroy them. Send assistant. Oh boy, this is the Red Star team we're facing. No one has any faces. I might need to download. You know what? If I'm going to be in Serbia, I need to download some faces. They have been winning for the past five games, but I'm pretty sure so have we. So this is basically... Two best teams in the league, and you know this is the two best teams in the league. Ooh, are you excited? Look at that. Ooh, we're on the same number of games now. So if they do win this one, they've won the league. And um, they've won the league. Which, for all you partisan fans out there, or for all of you Mr. Spaceman fans out there, that is very, very crappy. <laughs> That's just very crappy. <laughs> oh, boy. Last time it was just a silly 1-0 one -nil game. 1-0 game? It was a 1-0 game. But now we're better. We have a tactic that's solid. We have players that are better. So hopefully that'll work. Gadget, Katai. Ivanic. Puts a cross in. Sanogo. The flares are going off. Uh, they have scored. Um... Ouch. Where was... <laughs> Have you ever... Does this ever happen to you when you're playing a game or you're, I guess you're doing something and you're just speechless? That's what happened. That was, again, a very, very crappy start for us. We're already one man down, one man down, one nil down. We're dominating the possession. We're actually outplaying them, but they had the lucky shot again. Is this the re repeat of the last one? Are they just going to be countering us all the time? This is ridiculous. I mean... I don't think they're that much better than us, that they can just, you know, do whatever and they still win. It'll be unfortunate. Can we see an attack? I think pretty much every time we play, we can see an attack. Sanogo. Facinelli. I think that's his name. Sanogo. Oh, God. 
Yeah, we need fullbacks coverage. Why is he being blah, 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 why is he being let through? Awards are difficult. I'm sorry. I haven't slept much in the last four days. <sighs> uh, I need caffeine. I've had a I had a coffee and um Yeah. Yeah. What can I say? I one nil at halftime. That was uh eventful. Sure. Let's shout to the players. I do expect to see much better. Oh god. That was embarrassing. That was embarrassing for everyone involved. Come on, do you guys believe in me? Write in the comments, please. Help me, send me some energy. Send these players some energy, because we're not doing anything. What? Okay, let's go attacking. Let's just go attacking. I don't understand this team. Vaivodne is winning 2-1, which that means they're approaching us, which sucks. Okay, we have a <gasps> we have a highlight, boys. Unlo as long as we don't get countered, we have a highlight. Uh, how are we playing? Uh, Eurosev is just titling 6.4. Kill me. Stevanovic was 6.3. Bahabek was 6.5. Bahabek, he's camera shy. Maybe he's camera shy. I don't know. I, I He's one of the best strikers we have. But I can't wait for Vlad, Vlahovic. Vlahovic to get good. Stojkovic. Plays it back. Very simple. Plays it back to Maki. Topic, who hasn't been volantoing the secundo. That's, yes, that's a technical term. Yes, I did some, uh, I watched some videos on YouTube and that's exact. What? Is that is that what are you doing? Boy. Is that what? Buddy. Um can anyone explain to me what just happened? I'm gonna try Vlad, to pl 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 Vlad up front because um, wow, because I remember FM told me he was amazing up front, and uh, there we go, we're gonna try him. But uh, actually, no, let's go play Vanya up front because I think he's amazing. Um, he, what? He's getting subbed off, mate. That was that was borderline criminal. Like you can pretty much arrest someone for match fixing for doing that. What the hell? Okay, Bahabek. Bahabek, all by himself. Ooh, I thought he almost scored. Wow. <laughs> uh, look at that. Red Star Belgrade is continuing their great run of form by buying off our players. And I'm confused because Deljar is very good, but that's... You, you, you need to want to score that. And we haven't created anything. Wow. This is already turning out to be a tough save. We need to score a goal because... This is getting bad. Vlad on the ball. Vlad is going to put a cross in. He does. Nacho. Ooh. Biebers. Not Biebers. Biebers. All the Biebers out there. Sorry. I'm just... I'm, I'm still shocked by Zdeljar goal. And I'm also very, very impressed by Bibaras Nacho. By Nacho. Let's call him Nacho. I don't know why I keep calling him by his first name. That is a beautiful volley. Vlad kind of created it, but not really. Is that going to be the end? We deserved to win this, I think. We had more goals, and um, they depended so much on Zdeljar. 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 Yeah, I, need to, I, I still need to learn how to say it. That was... Wow! <laughs> I cry. So it looks like we're not winning the league this season, which is impressive, because if you're, won if you're winning the league every single season, it would get boring. So at least this is a nice little story we're having for you. Or, you know, I'm just, I'm just excusing this. I'm just excusing my crappy management skills. Maybe that's the thing. But wow, they have an eight-point lead on us. We are pretty much in second place, so it's fine. As long as we don't lose any crazy games, we're second. That was pathetic. Wow. Partisan ludes. Vecity bragging rights. So the steamrollers steamrolled themselves, and player of the match was Biberus Nacho, because Red Star, once again, did not create anything. So, what do we do with this? What do we do with this? What, what, can anyone tell me what to do with Delshar? Is there a lawyer? Can anyone, like, write, seriously, write in the comments. Do I just, do I sell him for this? Do I kick him out? He's amazing. He's a very good player, but what the hell was that? Composure is on point. Passing is on point. M maybe I should blame Stojkovic because he played for the, for Red Star? I'm gonna, 
speak to him. This guy needs a talking to. Where is talking to? How do you talk in this game? Warren player. Criticize this game. Um, <laughs> you, were need, you were not good enough passing. If I'm going to say this, right? It's technically true. Yeah, he's pissed off. Okay. Uh, you might be happy. Okay, what? That was a mis... Was that a mistake? Oh, look, his average rating's down. I can tell him that he's crap as well. Let's go. Your form has been declining. Yes, there we go. I just wanted to tell him off. I just wanted to get angry. Wow. Huh. Anyways, we have lost the Serbian Super League. This is bad. But again, this makes it an interesting... I guess it makes us an interesting save. A uh, Hollander with, his, with the most goals. Interesting. Uh, yeah, Red Star is just steamrolling through everyone, which makes sense. I think they have the best squad here. They definitely have the best squad here. We have quite a solid squad as well, but we have a young squad. So maybe it's something we need to do. We need to build around. They only lost once. They lost against Indi yeah. India. Why? 10th? Okay. Okay. But yeah, we have lost three games, twice against Red Star, once against Spartak. We need to get back at them. We really need to get back at them. Right. So that was pathetic. What are we going to do? Well, I'm going to see you back. And this time I have prepared in advance. I'm going to see you back for the Vozvodak game. I'm going to see you back for the Vozvodak game. Because, first of all, it's a dragon. It's a dragon. And also, there's no big teams here that I think are big enough to be worthy of being shown. Because, I mean, Radnishki is nice, but they're dropping. And we've seen him last episode. Zlatibor is bad. TSC is finally not crap. And I think Vozvodak... Vozdovak... Sounds, yeah, let's go. They have a dragon team. And plus, after that, we can do a little end of season review, which hopefully would mean, which would hopefully mean that we have lost the league. I don't know why I said hopefully, which would probably, mean, which would probably mean that we have lost the league by then. Um, yeah, I, I don't have, I don't rate our chances. If it took them, what, in 25 games, it lost once against a random team. And we are the only team that could probably stop them regularly. We're in trouble. But anyways, we have a great team here. We're trying to build youth. We have we're starting to youthify. We got rid of a 37-year-old. We start we got rid of a 27, 8, 9-year-old. Uh let's go check a look here. So we got rid of a 27. Uh Jojic was 28. Markovic was 26. So we are youthifying. We're replacing it with younger players. So we have a good future. Now Thank you for watching this episode. I hope you enjoyed it. Leave a like if you did like this video. I know it was a bit downish. I'm trying to regain the energy to film. I'm so tired, so I'm sorry if I did sound a bit down. But if you do like a bit of this calmer stuff, do tell me in the comments. And I think if I was, you know, very energetic and stuff, I would probably have broken my computer when I saw that Delja girl. But for now, it's only just coming to my head. I'm only just starting to process. Yeah, that was bad. I will see you back for the Vozvoda game. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys when Delgera comes out of prison for match fixing. Bye, guys.